Hey, this is Oscar Healy. And you are watching a tutorial on how to add USB 3 ports to your computer. What I'm unboxing here is known as a PCIe expansion card. This one being made by a company called Dynamode. And uh, I got it because my motherboard is fairly old and doesn't currently support any USB 3.0 ports. So, you're here watching my B-roll and wondering whether your computer can support this upgrade or not. Don't worry because your PC is most likely not going to have a problem. If it's a laptop, uh, go get a USB hub or something, because you can't do it this way. Anyway, uh, this was originally designed to work with computers around the Windows 7 era, so it should be fine with most PCs around today. Why did I get this? Well, this was 15 bucks, and the only other solution for full speed USB 3.0 uh, would be to replace a whole bunch of my PC. So I went with the 15 bucks option. USB 3s have five times the speed of USB 2 and a lot of people might not know this but they also have twice the power output. So yeah, more current. Get with the flow. Oh, also it has four of them. Black circuit boards are actually more expensive than the standard green ones Given that the PCB or circuit board is black, I'd like to think that it's also constructed with some premium parts. Um, or at least working ones anyway. It's a fair assumption. Now, to start this, you will have to open your computer and find the relevant expansion slots. The easiest way to do this is to look at the back of the case, where there are a bunch of long, thin plates or brackets with uh, screws at the end of them. These correspond to the expansion slots. In some cases these can be used up. For instance my graphics card takes up the top two slots and as a result covers one of the slots we could potentially use but I have two more that I can use. Well technically there's three. To do this you will have to unscrew the corresponding brackets and proceed to plug in the card carefully. Once it clips in, you can screw it back in and check if it works. In my case, I'll also need to plug in a Molex connector for some extra power. It is important to note that not every PCIe expansion card will need a Molex cable. Some cards may have other connectors or things to be plugged in, and some might have none at all. The Molex cable will most likely come out of what is known as the power supply. My power supply is a little different, however, as I will need to plug in both ends of this wire. Okay, Okay, so that is all for this guide. I hope you liked it. I will hopefully have more videos out soon. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more.